Hello everyone and welcome back. It is Wizzy back here today bringing you guys another video on my channel today for you guys. Today it is going to be a different sort of video. It's going to be some more BO3 info for you guys. So Black Ops 3. Um, I've done a couple of these videos in the past and um, I just got some new information to share with you guys. Uh, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is just a BO2 gameplay. Uh, it's during the double XP weekend which was ages ago which is celebrating the release of black ops 3 like not um to people to buy physically but just to tell them about bo3 coming out and all that stuff but anyway that's the gameplay in the background i go 84 and 11 um, i'm playing with wide begsy so anyway let's get on to the main topic of focus so within this commentary i'm going to be talking about guns within bo3 now i've seen a lot of bo3 informational videos i've made a lot of bo3 informational videos but i was looking through them and they haven't made many gun info videos like i haven't seen many informational uh videos talking about guns or weapons that are going to be uh in bo3 what kind of guns we're going to expect uh what type of guns are going to do certain things will they be overpowered what's uh like what's gonna happen with the guns like in general is there gonna be rocket launchers coming back and stuff but yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see the guns and there was a certain gun within the bo3 trailer uh which you can see on screen now this is a side by side view of the bo3 and the bo2 ballista now they are both very similar you can see that um there was also a weapons list that was leaked and I'm not sure if it said it on there or not, but yeah, this is just really interesting that uh, one of the guns in the BO3 trail looked exactly like the ballista from the side on view when you're reloading with the weapon. Uh, I found that very, very interesting, so we'll just have to wait and see if a lot of BO2 weapons come back. Um, actually, on that leaked uh, list, it says PDW Scar. So, I don't know if the PDW is coming back. I know that gun was very overpowered within BO2 when it first came out and then absolutely buffed the absolute crap out of the weapon. The MSMC, they, um, uh, what did they do? They patched the PDW. They patched a couple of other SMGs. They just patched all the SMGs and then they left everything else. They buffed the shotgun, buffed the LMGs and all that. But it's just going to be interesting to see if the shotguns are going to be overpowered like they were in BO2. Uh, I've already talked about C4, that's not going to be overpowered, that's not a weapon, but it'll be interesting to see on the quick scoping side of things, if quick scoping will be as don dominant as it was within uh, BO2, because BO2 quick scoping was very, very dominant, it was very, very easy to quick scope, uh, not a lot of people got hit markers or anything unless you're using the ballista, or something uh, usually the DSR would not hit marker and kill everybody I remember at the start of BO2's time that DSR used to be able to hit you in the foot there was a lot of uh, videos on YouTube about that the DSR hitting people in the foot and killing them um, until they nerfed that and all the all the feeders had a little cry when the DSR got nerfed with the bolt action uh, so it got slowed down they're like oh I can't feed I can't feed and they all had their little cry but yeah, that's back in the BO2 pass, but it's going to be interesting to see how sniping goes uh, in Advanced Warfare. You don't really see that much sniping, like people going for feeds and all that. There, you rarely see people sniping. That's because of the skill-based matchmaking, and also the maps. I don't think uh, have a lot of like sites where you can aim down, and the jumping and movement also affects how people snipe. But it's going to be also interesting to see like what SMGs come back. It's a scar is going to come back because the SCAR's been in a lot of Call of Duties, we'll see if that comes back. What the LMGs are going to be like, the LMGs within Advanced Warfare are absolutely horrible. So we'll have to just wait and see what they're going to be like in BO3. Also, I hope that the secondaries aren't overpowered. Uh, Black Ops 2, you guys know the Cap 40 and the B23R were both really, really powerful. Also the TAC 45 is pretty powerful as well. But it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of weapons are coming, uh, if there's old weapons coming back, how overpowered they're going to be. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what uh, weapons you want to come back in BO3. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. I appreciate all your support. Thanks guys for watching the video. As always guys, this has been Wizzy. I'll see you guys later.
Nice teammates. Oh, why are you using those, dude? No need. No need to use them. 